Oh my God. Oh my God. We're going to react to one of the most fraudulent activities of all times, ladies and gentlemen. Proper fraudulencia. I mean, this is, oh my God. This is, um, this is incredible. This is incredible. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. All right, welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. We 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 have to do this. We really do because I cannot let this go any further. I have to express my feelings about uh, this particular individual player, and I want to see what each and every one of you guys have to say about this. I mean, this player. Yet another, as I've always said, I hate to use the word fraud on a particular player. I use that on Bruno Fernandes because he so damn is. But I think there's a bigger fraud than him, and it has to be Harry Maguire, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to react to what Harry Maguire had to say, a particular video that was dropped just before the Liverpool calamity, absolute disaster class from Harry Maguire and from Man United. And... A few hours before that, there was a video that was dropped. So let's react to what Harry Maguire had to say about himself. He thinks really high about himself. I mean, it's quite incredible. Let's, um, let's check this out. I'd say from this season, I've had some bad games. Um, but I wouldn't be playing every game for Manchester United in the starting eleven if I'd been playing bad every game or not, not playing well enough. There's a reason why both managers mm. have put me in the starting eleven every game. Um, for what I bring to the team, what I bring to, wow. to the starting eleven. Um, but I do also understand that I'm the captain of this club. Um, I cost a lot of money. Um, <laughs> really? And when things aren't going well and we're conceding too many goals, I'm going to get criticised. Yeah, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen probably one of the most deluded videos of all time. I mean, this guy is downright arrogant, so, so arrogant. He goes on to say there's a reason why I'm starting for Man United on a regular basis under two managers. Do you know what? He's right. He's right. I blame the managers for consistently backing this particular player. I mean, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, this is his boy, so it is what it is. Um, and he, he had no idea what was going on, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Ole had the wheel, literally one of the worst managers I've ever seen, to be honest. Ralph Ragnick, however, apparently the father of Thomas Tuchel and Jurgen Klopp, why is he starting Harry, um, Harry Maguire on a regular basis? I mean, this guy is he's living in a fantasy world. He really is. He's so oblivious to the fact that how poor he is. And the fact that he goes around saying, I know it costs a lot of money, and that's probably why, you know, people, you know, like to criticize me so and so no my man you are poor you're one of the worst defenders i've ever seen and this guy has the audacity to come out and say there's a reason why i get picked right two managers have picked me oh my god i just want to showcase what is going on in social media as well uh you're gonna find this very baffling ladies and gentlemen look at this this is the match that took place against Liverpool. Some of the defending and in all four goals, to be honest, probably the core issue was Harry Maguire. Let's let's have a look at this. Um, final score, obviously. Well, that was that was half time here. Yeah. Um, if no decision is taken against these players, especially the captain Harry Maguire, then this club will be vanished forever. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This was the first goal in a back three. Look at where Harry Maguire is. Look at where Sadia Mane is picking up the ball. And, and Salah and Trent Alexander-Arnold are in acres. Like, this is madness. This You have our back three, which is so well organized. And then you have this back three, which is, what is this? This is pure madness. Harry Maguire in, in no man's land. What is he doing? Who is he marking? Look at the space behind him. No communication with any of his defenders. Like, oh my God, here's the second picture. So that's the first goal, which ended up 
I think Mane slid that through, and then um, I think it was either Salah or Trent Alexander-Arnold that squared the ball for um, Luis Diaz. I think it might have been Salah that squared the ball for Luis Diaz's goal. This is the second goal, ladies and gentlemen. Sadio Mane, an unbelievable no-look pass. It looks like he's looking that way, but he wasn't, to be honest. Once again, what's Harry Maguire doing? Who is he covering? What is he doing? Where's the tight marking on, on Mane? The ball goes over him. Salah goes into the space. But baby, 2-0. I mean, it's pure madness. Here's a picture of all four goals. We've seen the first two. Check out these ones now. This is the third one where Satya Mane is free on inside the box. First time touch, Satya Mane cleans up. Look, look at this defense. How's... Harry Maguire not much closer to Sadio Mane. Is he not even seeing Sadio Mane just ghosting into the box? He's just ball watching. And this guy has audacity to come out in the in the video and say, there's a reason why I must be doing something, right? I mean, wow, wow. Here's the fourth goal. The fourth goal was mad, to be honest. He put a hospital pass to a youngster, Hannibal, I think his name is. And then from there, it was just mayhem. Hannibal lost the ball. Uh, Salah goes into the into the space inside the box, as you can see over here. And once again, Harry Maguire nowhere to be seen. And the ball was delivered right in between Harry Maguire. Salah goes in, and the fourth goal happens. I mean, this is what Salah had to say, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to bring this up. This is what Salah had to say post match. You think you've dominated this rivalry this season? Well, I missed the last one. So, anyway, I think they make our life easier in the, in the midfield and in the back. They always try to give us uh, the ball just in a, in a situation like one, one against one. So they make our life much easier. So I think when we defend well, uh, we had a clean sheet here, clean sheet there. So they make our life easier to score. Just we just go to the game and we want to score one one goal. Once we get the second, at the first, we want to get the second. Once we get the second, we we'll go for third. But I think it's a uh, top performer from us. Uh, here and away also, so we hope we hopefully just carry on like this. Uh, and I know you've not been worried and you have been looking sharp, but nice to see the goals go in again. Yeah, I said before many times, like, I scored many goals for this club, <laughs> it's going to keep coming. Sometimes you had bad luck, but the most important thing is the team winning. That's the most important thing. I think if the team were not winning, I would not be happy, but um, team winning, everything is going to come. So I'm, I was not worried about that. Ladies and gentlemen, Mohamed Salah is literally saying, we just turn up and we score, we win. Like, the, the disrespect to Man United, but it's so true. It's so true. He talks about how we try and get them one-on-one. -on -one. They're very easy. They make our lives a lot easier. They're nothing in midfield, nothing in defense. They try and go 1v1. They take the ball away, like taking candy off a little kid. And yeah, we just score. The, the, Salah pretty much said we show up and we win. We show up and we score goals. Like it's mad. It's oh my god. And and this guy, he actually thinks he's um he's a hero. He's a hero. Let's check out some more from social media, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Mems galore, ladies and gentlemen, all over social media. Cristiano Ronaldo versus Harry Maguire. Cristiano Ronaldo trying to help them secure top four. And then you've got Harry Maguire who's <laughs> You know, just pushing them back out of top four. It's madness. Uh, consequences of playing with Harry Maguire. Look at this. Uh, Harry Maguire headbutting his own defender, Eric Bay. Eric Bay broken, broken skull. Uh, his, I actually saw this, you know, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo against Atletico Madrid. That was so hilarious. He headbutted Cristiano Ronaldo. And then again, scorpion kicking. Um, Paul Pogba and, and slicing his ear off. This guy, man, unbelievable. Look at this. Just a reminder of how much our defenders cost compared to just Harry Maguire. I get it. There's a lot of academy players here, but nonetheless, bought for 39 million. This lot, this guy, 80 million. I mean, Leicester, you have done a daylight robbery on Man United. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Absolute daylight robbery. They should be reported. 
Leicester City should be reported to the cops, honestly. Uh, that's spreading fraudulent activity to the rest of the world. Harry Maguire, the worst United defender over the past 80 years. Look at this. I mean, David De Gea, there's memes all over. There's, there's a particular clip where he can see Harry Maguire wide open, but he chooses to actually kick the ball out. Like, this is the confidence level that he has. Look at this. David De Gea, I fear no man. But that thing... <laughs> It scares me. It scares me. It's mad. I think this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at look at this clip. Literally, David De Gea has that free man, Harry Maguire, over there. All that space, but David De Gea chooses to go out. Like, I mean, wow, wow, wow. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Harry Maguire on a regular basis every game. Bruno, Pogba, McTominay, Delor, Varane, De Gea, Maguire, Shaw. And look, look at what the hand is for Harry Maguire. <laughs> It's mad. It's mad. I want to now share a quick clip of the other side of Harry Maguire. I mean, we, we laugh about what an awful defender he is. But if you guys remember, not that long ago, Harry Maguire got booed in an England match. And there was just social media uprise from Harry Kane coming out publicly saying that's wrong. Jordan Henderson, this, that, the other. Everyone chipped in. Everyone wanted to get a piece of it. But recently, Pogba got booed at his own, you know, by his own fans. And Harry Maguire had nothing to say. And this is what Mark Goldwich had to say. And this is another reason why this particular footballer is proper fraud watch, fraudulent, you know, person. Big time. Have a look at this from... Um, Mark Albridge. By what I'm about to say here, Harry Maguire gets booed for England. Within minutes, his captain, Harry Kane, is coming out saying it's not acceptable. The media's coming out saying it's not acceptable. Paul Pogba gets booed at the weekend. Man United captain, who's been in that position, but radio silence. Oh, what, what's that? I'm, I'm waiting to hear something from Harry Maguire. Don't worry, it's just tumbleweed going over this weekend. He's eating his Easter eggs. Captain of Man United, who's been in that position where he's been booed and he's got his mates in the media to make a big massive deal about it, where press conferences were being asked of Premier League managers and they were having to talk about Harry Maguire being booed. Wow. His True. teammate, who he's the captain of, gets booed. He says nothing, absolutely nothing. And this is the guy that's the leader of Manchester. It's mad. I mean, he should know what it feels like when everyone is against you. And when Paul Pogba got that same treatment from his own fans, he had nothing to say about it. And it just shows um, and not only he's so deluded, arrogant, worst defender, but the guy has no sense of morality as well. Like, you saw that interview. You saw this interview, ladies and gentlemen. I mean... From this season, I've had some it bad just games. Shows. Um, he's so unaware of what's going every game on. for Manchester United in the starting it's 11 mad. if I'd been it's playing mad. bad every game or not not playing well enough. There's a reason why both it's managers like have I put me in the starting bad 11 games every game. Every, oh, it's um, crazy what he's saying. So what I bring to the team, what I bring to, to the starting 11. Um, but I do also understand that Oh, it's mad. It's mad. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are in regards to Harry Maguire. For me, proper, proper fraudster. Proper fraudster. Um, as I said, I don't like saying this word to players because I feel like, you know, at least most of them give it a shot. But this guy, he's, I don't even think he's championship level. I really don't even think he's championship level. I don't even think he's A-League level in, in, in Australia, uh, the Australian League. This is proper man. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know how you felt about this particular video. If you've enjoyed this, smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe, hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, see ya. And uh, I've got a special little gift here before I go. Where's the fucking defense here from Manchester United? Oh, fuck off, you useless bag of statue twats. You're having a bloody joke. Four minutes and the back fives fucking fell apart. Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons. Pigeon shit everywhere on the statues. De Gea's having an argument because he's angry. But that is a back five. A back five. A back five cut apart in the first four minutes. Piss them off.
you pigeon prats. Statues. Look at this for a back five.